Have you ever wondered if there's life beyond Earth? The vast cosmos is teeming with stars and planets, but what makes a place potentially suitable for life? Enter the concept of habitable zones in stellar systems. This idea has emerged as a central focus in astrobiology, sparking curiosity in both scientists and enthusiasts. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe, the exploration of these zones, where conditions might be just right for life, becomes an integral part of our quest for extraterrestrial habitats. A key ingredient to life as we understand it is water, specifically liquid water. Habitable zones, sometimes referred to as Goldilocks zones, provide the perfect conditions for the existence of this precious resource, making these zones our prime targets in the search for life beyond Earth. So what makes these habitable zones so special? Let's dive in. Picture this, a region in space where conditions are just right for life. This, my friends, is what we call a habitable zone, often referred to as the Goldilocks zone. It's an orbital area around a star where the temperature is neither too hot nor too cold, but just right for liquid water to exist. And why is liquid water such a big deal, you might ask? Well, it's because water, in its liquid form, is considered essential for life as we know it. It's like the secret sauce in the recipe for life. In our quest for extraterrestrial habitats, these zones are the prime targets, the hot spots, if you will, where we focus our attention. The conditions in these zones could potentially support life, making them the key to unlocking the mysteries of life beyond Earth. It's all about finding that just right balance, isn't it? Not all stars are alike, and the same goes for their habitable zones. Now, if you think about it, our cosmos is a vibrant mosaic of stars, each unique in its own way. And these differences in size, temperature, and luminosity greatly influence where and how wide their habitable zones are. Let's start with the smaller, cooler stars, often called red dwarfs. These stars are like the cozy, compact apartments of the cosmos. Their habitable zones are narrower and closer, similar to how a small room heats up more quickly. So, if a planet wants to settle in comfortably, it needs to be in close proximity, where it's neither too hot nor too cold for liquid water to exist. On the other end of the spectrum, we have the larger, hotter stars, the blue giants. Think of them as the luxurious, sprawling mansions of the stellar neighborhood. Their habitable zones are broader, but they're also more distant. It's like needing to step back from a large bonfire to feel the heat just right. So, planets orbiting these stars need to be at a greater distance to fall within the habitable range. But it's not just about finding the right distance. The habitable zone also needs to be stable over long periods. For instance, a planet in a habitable zone that's constantly changing due to fluctuations in the star's output might not be a suitable abode for life. Understanding the stellar diversity and zone variability is like having a roadmap to the stars. It guides us in identifying potential candidates for habitable planets. It tells us where to look, and just as importantly, where not to look. It's all about figuring out where the conditions might be just right for life as we know it to flourish. So, different stars, different habitable zones. But what about the planets within these zones? Well, that's a whole new ballgame, and we'll dive into that in the next segment. Stay tuned as we continue our cosmic journey exploring the potential for life beyond Earth. Our universe is teeming with planets, some of which sit comfortably within these habitable zones. These are the exoplanets, planets found orbiting stars outside our own solar system. The discovery of these celestial bodies has been made possible because of advancements in observational techniques like the transit method, which observes the dimming of a star's light as a planet passes in front of it, and radial velocity measurements, which detect the slight wobble of a star due to the gravitational tug of an orbiting planet. Some of these exoplanets are not just located in the habitable zones, but also bear striking similarities to our home, Earth. Notable examples include Kepler, 186 ff and Kepler 442b. Kepler 186 f was the first validated Earth-sized planet to be discovered within the habitable zone of another star, while Kepler 442b is considered one of the most Earth-like candidates in terms of size and temperature. But the discovery of these planets isn't just about adding new entries to an astronomical catalog. It's about the tantalizing possibility of finding life beyond Earth. Each new discovery brings us one step closer to answering one of humanity's oldest questions. 
are we alone in the universe? The role of technology in this cosmic quest cannot be overstated. As our tools become more sophisticated, so does our ability to peer into the depths of space and time. Instruments like the Kepler Space Telescope have been instrumental in finding these exoplanets, and future missions like the James Webb Space Telescope will continue to push the boundaries of what we can discover. Yet, finding these planets is only the first part of the puzzle. Once we've spotted a potential candidate, the real work begins, characterizing these planets, understanding their atmospheres, their geological activity, their potential for water, and most importantly, their potential for life. With these discoveries, we're getting closer to finding a second Earth. But what makes a planet truly habitable? It's not just about being in the right place at the right time. It's also about having the right conditions. A delicate balance of factors that come together to create an environment where life, as we know it, can thrive. It's not just about being in the right place. It's also about having the right atmosphere. A planet's habitability isn't solely defined by its location within a star's habitable zone. The composition of its atmosphere is just as crucial. Think of it like this. You wouldn't consider a house livable if it lacked the right conditions inside, regardless of how perfect the neighborhood might be. So what makes a planetary atmosphere suitable for life? Well, it's a complex cocktail of elements, but the key component is the presence of greenhouse gases. These gases, which include carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor, are critical to maintaining a planet's temperature. They trap some of the star's heat, creating a sort of thermal blanket around the planet. Without this blanket, a planet could be too cold, even if it's located in the habitable zone. Here's where it gets interesting. The right amount of greenhouse gases creates a perfect balance, not too hot, not too cold, enabling the existence of liquid water, a vital ingredient for life as we know it. However, too much of these gases can lead to a runaway greenhouse effect, triggering extreme temperatures and making the planet uninhabitable. It's a delicate equilibrium. But greenhouse gases aren't the only atmospheric players. The presence of other elements, such as nitrogen and oxygen, can also play a pivotal role. Nitrogen, for instance, helps regulate the amount of heat retained and released by the atmosphere, while oxygen is crucial for life forms that rely on it for respiration. And then there's atmospheric pressure. It's like the amount of air or weight of the atmosphere above a location. If too high or too low, it could prevent the existence of liquid water at the planet's surface. So, the composition of a planet's atmosphere, its temperature, the pressure conditions, they all come together to influence habitability. It's like crafting a perfect recipe for life. A suitable atmosphere, another key to unlocking the potential for life. But what about the threats from space? Scene script. Even within a habitable zone, life may face some cosmic challenges. These challenges come in the form of astrophysical factors that can significantly influence a planet's habitability. Let's delve into a few of these. First up, we have stellar flares. These are sudden, intense bursts of radiation from a star's surface. For planets in close proximity to their host star, these flares can be incredibly destructive, potentially stripping away atmospheres and eradicating any chance of life as we know it. Next, we have the constant onslaught of stellar radiation. This radiation can impact the chemistry of a planet's atmosphere, influencing its temperature and pressure conditions. Over time, this radiation can also lead to the loss of key atmospheric gases necessary for life. And then there are tidal forces. These gravitational interactions between a planet and its star can cause heating and deformation, potentially leading to volcanic activity and impacting the planet's habitability. Life beyond Earth indeed has to be resilient. But how are we getting better at finding it? Our quest for extraterrestrial life is fueled by technological breakthroughs. And indeed, the driving force behind our expanding knowledge of habitable zones in stellar systems lies in our ever-advancing technology. Telescopic technology, in particular, has seen a revolution. The James Webb Space Telescope, for instance, represents the pinnacle of this evolution. This marvel of engineering is not just a bigger and better telescope. It's designed to give us unprecedented insights into the atmospheres of exoplanets. It's equipped to detect and analyze the faintest signals from distant worlds, allowing us to discern their atmospheric compositions and therefore their potential habitability. 
These technological innovations are not just enhancing our observational capabilities. They're refining our search for habitable zones. They're allowing us to dig deeper, to peek into the corners of the cosmos that were once beyond our reach. With every technological leap, we inch closer to finding life beyond our planet. And with the dawn of a new era in space exploration, who knows what discoveries lie ahead. The universe is vast and filled with mysteries waiting to be unraveled. The exploration of habitable zones within stellar systems is a shining beacon in our quest to understand the universe and the potential for life beyond our home planet. These zones, with their just-right conditions, are the cosmic Goldilocks of our astrobiological pursuits. From the diversity of stars and their respective zones to the multitude of exoplanets discovered, each piece of the puzzle adds depth to our understanding. We've learned the significance of atmospheric composition and astrophysical factors and how they can make or break a planet's habitability. And let's not forget the role of technological innovation. Cutting-edge telescopes are our eyes into the cosmos, helping us to characterize distant exoplanets and refine our search. As we delve deeper into these celestial considerations, we inch closer to potentially uncovering life beyond Earth. As we continue exploring these cosmic frontiers, who knows what discoveries await us?